John Young, the mission Better commander, Ken Mattingly, the command module command pilot, and Charles, Charles Duke made up the crew of Apollo 16, America's fifth mission to the lunar surface. Right Five days after liftoff, the module landed on the moon's Descartes Plateau. Oh, Ron is finally here, Houston. A previously unexamined area which geologists thought was formed by volcanic activity. It was a theory disproved by the soil and rock samples collected by the astronauts. Two of the men spent 20 hours on the surface and they rode almost 27 kilometers in their rover vehicle, better known as a moon buggy. We're doing uh, 10 clicks, Tony. Covered me with dust on that one. Almost like a uh, freshly plowed field that's been rained on. The explorers then boarded the lunar vehicle and returned to the command module, which had been orbiting during the surface exploration. At the same time, Mattingly had been conducting dozens of experiments and taken thousands of high-resolution pictures of the terrain. Once the men were reunited, he left the capsule to retrieve the film canisters. Eleven days after the launch, the astronauts splashed down in the Pacific, ending a near-perfect mission. You saw an example of goal-oriented teamwork in action. The kind of thing that made this country great and the kind of thing that's going to keep it that way. Now aged 76, Charlie Duke still looks back on that adventure with awe. And I was so excited and uh, the beauty of it and the solitude of it and the uh, and the fact that nobody had ever been here before. You know, all those thoughts just racing through your mind. It's uh, like a... I was basically more like a little kid at Christmas, I guess, than a well-trained astronaut at that point. A few months later, three more Americans returned to explore another area of the lunar surface. It would be the last Apollo mission, and the last time ever since that a human has walked on the moon. Tom Ackerman.